Hello folks, this is Mason Rothman from Project Geo and uh, today I'm here with Charles France and Joe Marie uh, from, uh, from Data Watch and they're going to go ahead and give us a demo of their products. Uh, well, good afternoon. My name is Charles France. I run the Fed program here for Data Watch. Uh, we have a fl our flagship capability is a tool called Data Watch Monarch. Uh, it's been around for a long time, a, a large user community across the federal government and, and across a lot of other industries as well. Um, one of the things that really sets us aside in the market is that there are a lot of great capabilities out there that allow you to visualize your data, that allow you to give you that really end user capability. But the challenge that those tools have is how do you get your data into a format to be able to ingest it and do something with it beforehand. So um, that's what we do and we do it really well. We can take data from just about any source and get it into a structured format so that you can, uh, so that you can actually ingest it into those tools. So, whether that's HTML or PDF or XML um, or, or coming out of a, a database, uh, we have the ability to ingest uh, all of that information. Okay, thanks Charles. And uh, next we're going to cut over here to Joe for a demo. Here what we have is we have a, a PDF. And, and typically PDFs are very difficult to get the data from. So, so it's an out-of-policy expense report. And I'm going to take this expense report, PDF, I'm going to drag it onto the DataWatch uh, Data Prep Studio desktop. And it'll, it'll parse that, it'll pull out all the data, it'll structure it, and then with just a click of the button, I can have it recognize the data in that, in that document. So we can see here we have detail lines, we have a bunch of heading lines. Uh, if I want to include another one, I can just double click on that field and it'll add it to the preview down at the bottom. Um, and then I can open that up in Data Prep Studio and I can take a preview of what does that data look like. Uh, as it's as it's loading that up, um, it, it'll it'll give us a histogram for each of the fields in the, in each of the columns here. Uh, we can filter data out of here if we don't want to include this field. We can just uncheck it, or if we wanted to put a filter in here, we can say, well, I only want the highest value items out of this, and I can drag this over there, and it'll it'll calculate the filter for me if I want. So it extracted the data from uh, the PDF file and put it into the table for you, and now you're manipulating the data to your criteria. Exactly. So, you know, from let's just get to the real useful part here where we can start manipulating the data. Uh, example here, if we wanted to split this date, you know, we have a context sensitive menu that knows what all the different uh, operations we're going to do on a date. Uh, we can split that date into parts and we can just say I want year and month. And I don't have any formulas, I don't have any scripting. Uh, I can just do that. If I wanted to propagate these headings down to all the different records, I can just say ditto here and propagate those down. And, and what I think is really nice about this is it actually remembers everything we did. So, so for auditing purposes, if there's any compliance uh, regula regulatory stuff, we can, we can handle that. Uh, we can also take this model that we're building here and we can reuse it. Uh, we can publish it up to a server, which I'll show you later. Uh, let's bring in another source. Let's bring in an access database. And these are all the different data. Uh, these are all the different data sources that you could uh, potentially bring in, right? Exactly. So we have uh, text formats, PDFs, delimited text, uh, text reports, JSON, XML, HTML, all these different nat native database drivers, uh, big data sources like CloudIt, MongoDB, uh, and then uh, business objects, uh, OData is a web protocol. So I'm just going to go up here and grab an access database table here. It works with all these different databases. Uh, so if I take this, this one right here, I'll just double click on it, it'll, it'll show us what the tables are and I can preview this 15,000 rows out of this tr expense transaction database and I'll bring that one in. Now I can easily join these, I can just Click on combine data here. So even though they're different data formats, you can actually combine them together. That's exactly right. Uh, so we can actually do this join analysis, and it'll figure out for this left outer join that I'm doing here that you know I'll get 70% of the results here by joining on the employee, so I'm going to use that one. If I want to add additional keys here, I can. If I want to use fuzzy matching, it actually doesn't have to be an exact match for this join. We're using some linguistic algorithms to figure out close matches. So if there's transformed, transposed characters or some misspellings or abbreviations with periods versus no periods, I can, I can make that join more forgiving than a straight join. Um, and then once we have that where we want it, we can... Sure, how that could happen because I. It's okay, just roll with it. So, so once we have that, the data the way we want it, we can export that. Oh, 
once we have that where we want it and all the data is in the form that we want it in, we can come back here and we can export the results to these formats on the desktop. Uh, we can also take this model that we've just created and we can publish that up to our server. And let me just show you a quick look at what that looks like. Well, that's pretty amazing, Joe, that you can put together all those the, so, uh, documents of different formats, choose what kind of format you want to put it out in that, that, that it's comfortable with you or what's needed by your consumer or your, your, uh, your, your customer. They're very interesting. Yeah, and, and I, I don't know that I mentioned, but this is really intended to be used by end users and analysts. It's, it's not primarily an IT tool. Uh, we do have some IT departments that use it, but it's 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 designed to be as easy to use so that a user can just get their work done without having to go find a programmer. Right, because not everybody's an expert in all those different file formats that you listed. Exactly. And, and the last thing I wanted to show you here is and once you take that model on the desktop, you can publish that up to the server and you can run that repeatedly. You can run it on a schedule. You can run it when the file shows up every day, every week, every month. So it allows you to automate that process that might be multiple steps and be able to get the output you want very quickly. Well, thanks so much, Joe, and thanks, Charles, for uh, joining us today. This is uh, Mason Rothman from Project Geo. See you soon.